Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at question 6 of paper 1 of the sample assessment material for Edexcel for the pure maths. Alright, so this question is just asking us to show that y minus 2 times the first differential of y plus the second differential of y is equal to 2ex. ex is this. So what I know I want to work out is I want to, I know why I want to work out minus 2 dy dx, and I want to work out d squared y over dx squared. And then we'll add them all together and get 2ex. So we just have to show that this is the case. Now, we know that y is equal to e to the x times x squared minus 3x. And this is the product of two functions, e to x and x squared minus 3x. And to differentiate a function which is the product of two other functions, we can use the product rule. So the differential of the product of the two functions, uv prime, is equal to u prime v plus uv prime. Now this dash just means the differential. And this is in brackets because it's the differential of this times this, whereas this is not in brackets because it's this times the differential of this. So the first thing we can do, we can set our arbitrary values of u and v. So let's say the first part of the product is e to the x, u is equal to e to the x, and that means u dash is also e to the x because the differential of e to the x is e to the x. And then v is x squared minus 3x. So v dash, or the differential of v, is equal to 2x minus 3. So the differential of this must be equal to u prime times v, so that's e to the x times x squared minus 3x plus u times v prime, so e to the x times 2x minus 3. Now, what we can do here, because this is not the simplest form, we can factorize e to the x out. So this is e to the x times x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 3 and this is all equal to e to the x times x squared minus x minus 3. Alright, so this is the first differential of it. So that's y prime because remember we're looking for y prime minus uh, y minus 2y prime plus y prime prime and we're going to show this is 2 to the e to the x 2 times e to the x and then we want to find from this minus 2y prime so that would be equal to just multiply the whole thing times minus 2 all right what i'm noticing is I can tell from the fact that the product rule is a thing that since one of the products is ex, the differential of this will be factorable, like the differential of this will be factorable by e to the x. So what I want to do here is move the minus 2 inside the brackets so that when I get this whole sum, I can factor out e to the x and we can just add up everything inside and it'll be a lot simpler if we are able to do that. So by moving the minus 2 inside, we distribute the minus 2, so it's minus 2 times x squared, which would be minus 2x squared, and then minus 2 times minus x, which is just plus 2x, and minus 2 times minus 3, which is plus 6. So we know we have this. Then we want to find the second differential as well. So we have the first value in the sum, we have the second value in the sum, and now we need to find the second differential of the function y. So 
Since we're taking the differential of the first differential, Again, this is the product to, of two functions, and we will have to use the product rule. So, let's say u is equal to e to the x, u prime must also be e to the x, v is x squared minus x minus 3, and so the differential of v must be 2x minus 1. So, u times v prime would be e to the x, times 2x minus 1, u prime times v would be equal to e to the x times x squared minus x minus 3, and then add them together, to get that, okay, so I'm just going to skip the process of factoring e to the power of x out, because I've shown how to do it before. Actually, no, I won't skip it. I'll do it now. So this is e to the x, 2x minus 1, plus e to the x, x squared minus x minus 3, is equal to e to the x times 2x minus 1, plus x squared minus x minus 3. And all of this is equal to x squared plus 2x minus x, and that's just plus x, and then minus 1 minus 3, so minus 4. So that is the third thing we want to add up. So finally, we can show that y minus 2y prime plus y prime prime is equal to the first function y e to the x times x squared minus 3x plus this function here, so e to the x times minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 6 And then finally, plus this. So, plus e to the power of x, x squared plus x minus 4. So we factorize e to the x out, and you get e to the x of, well, first we'll write all the x squared terms, so it's easier to add up. x squared minus 2x squared plus x squared. Then we'll write the x terms, so minus 3 minus 3x plus 2x plus x sorry, my pen is not working properly plus x, and then the terms without the variable, so plus 6 minus 4. Now, you might have spotted that this all adds up to zero and this all adds up to zero. So what are we left with? We are left with e to the x times plus six minus four, which is e to the x times two, or as they want us to put it in the form, two times e to the x. I'm just going to put these in a square box to let the examiner know that this is where you're going with this part of the question. All right, so let's see if our methodology was correct. Let's scroll to the mark scheme. So yeah, we've got the differential of this. And then 
we have the second differential of this. So that's e to the x times that plus e to the x times that plus r Well, we don't need to do this because this is as if it was factoring the whole thing out. And, hmm, interesting. It turns out that they used a different method from the one we did. But I would argue that our method is still valid because this star means that there are many alternate methods and then you just need to see what's appropriate because we accurately differentiated it twice and on top of that we shown we have shown by adding it all together that it is equal to 2 times e to the x but for this they expected us to use the fact that this was the case in order to prove it but the way I've proven it here, should be simple enough to follow along in this YouTube video because all it is asking you to do is perform the differentiation and then just add it up. Alright, so this was the answer I gave in an exam and the teacher marked it 8 out of 8. So I would, I would assume that this method is correct, but the results may vary depending on who your teacher is. But remember that in the mark scheme, if you see this star, it means there are many alternative methods of doing the question and any valid method would be accepted and given full marks. All right, thanks for watching.